There's many long details in riba why is riba haram. Why? Let, let, let make it very simple. Allah created us. He loves more than our own mother. He wants us to have a nice, peaceful, simple life without opening the doors to other greedness. Think of why would somebody want to involve in riba? Because of the greed. The person is greedy. He wants to get something even he has to pay more money or he has to involve into the riba business. So now there's two things. You're taking riba or you're giving birth. Now that's something a separate topic. Why it is haram? Allah knows best what is haram. Now imagine something. Why would somebody want to involve in riba? Because he has a greed of money. He has a greed of something. So Allah wants to save us rather than living our life impatiently and living our life like under the frustration, under the depression. You know all these people who are involved into the riba, they're always thinking that, okay I have to pay this installments, I have to get this business, I have to pay this, I have to do that. So they have always, their brain is not peaceful. They're always thinking about something, they have a money and to do this. They always have a money to do this. Imagine those people, now I'm talking about someone who buy the things on riba. There's many few people who are involved in giving a riba. But most of the Muslims are involved in something which is giving a riba. Now why it is giving a riba is the same, falls into the same category for haram as taking a riba and the giving a riba, they falls into the same under one umbrella. So I'm going to give you the separate lecture on this one, it's a long detail that will require that. Let me give you a little bit of example. Sinning is haram. Everybody knows that. Allah says the one who is doing a sin, someone who is helping, someone is handling, like giving an example of the Prophet said of the alcohol, the one who sells it, the manufacturer, the driver, the supplier, the handler, the truck driver, the one who is carrying, the one who is helping, they are all, all involved into the same category. So similarly when Allah says on the headline, riba is haram. So the riba is divided into, under one umbrella, divided into two ways. The one who is giving, the one is taking. But they are under the same umbrella because Allah does not want to involve and come under the shade of something where you're living a life under the stress, under the depression, and you die under that, and uh, in that depression. That's why Allah says, riba is haram because Allah knows what is good for us, what is bad for us. Who are involved? In? The non-Muslims. They are their banking system, their conventional banking systems, and all this. They are, uh, the government systems, they are putting a burden on people and their, their peaceful life has been gone. Look at the Muslims. The Muslims are living a so much peaceful life away from the riba. Even you're taking or you're giving. So Allah wants us to live a life and sleep with a peaceful life. Why would somebody want to involve into the riba? Imagine something, just because of the greed of money or the greed on something to get it. For example, if somebody sees a cigar, if someone sees a car and he says, okay, I do not have the money to buy it, but I'm going to buy the car on installment, so I have to pay this interest money. So he's putting a burden on his head that his car doesn't belong to him, that belongs to the car financing company. They can take it anyway. So he has put the burden on his head. Allah says, no, don't do this. This, this is not good for your life. Whatever you have, say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen and just live in a peaceful life. Imagine those people who are involved in riba and those who are not in, involved in riba. They are living a beautiful and simple simple life with the peaceful. The one who involved in riba, their interest is getting high. For example, someone is involved into getting, buying on something in Salman. He loses a job. He loses his business. What are you going to do? His credit blew up. If people uh, living in the U.S. and in foreign countries, they know what credit means in living in these foreign countries. The credit destroys by the banking, with the social securities, and everything is being getting destroyed just because of that. So whatever you have, say Alhamdulillah. Whatever the cash you have, try to survive that. Say Alhamdulillah for everything. Don't open the door to someone, something that Allah says, don't open the door. It, it, it's not good for you. If you do it, 
your new life started with with the stress so rather stay with that stay away from that so that's what Allah says Allah loves us more than our own mother what is good for her and what is not good for us that's why riba has been considered is totally haram there's, there's no justifications okay I can do a little bit I can do that because what is the main root cause of that is because of having a greediness of money and or to get, get something in their life just putting the burden of a loan on their head and to be enjoying a life but rather Allah says to keep it away the greatness from your heart leave it empty and say alhamdulillah whatever you have say alhamdulillah even I have seen a people who are living working in a hard working in a construction and they say alhamdulillah and the person who has some good money they're not living a good life because they're living and their income and all this money are based on riba and the one who is working hard on the money on cash is living a beautiful life with a peaceful life because he has a stronger connection the one who has a great goodness in his heart so that's why Allah has said the riba is Iran because Allah knows this is not good for you rather you live a simple life do not open the doors where Allah says this is not allowed to go there